Well, a big hello and welcome here with two of my good mates, uh, Mitchell Johnson and Jock Campbell. Gentlemen, welcome. Good Good day. Good day to be here, Brett. In lovely Mumbai, as uh, we've spent a fair bit of time over the years, I guess we've toured here and done some wonderful things. Now, test number 398, you actually made your debut back in 2007 on a wonderful day, the 8th of November, which was my birthday. Beautiful day. Uh, remember it quite clearly. Um, it's, a, it's a question you're always asked as an international cricketer, where's your debut and who handed you your baggy green? And, um, um, Glenn McGraw was, was the guy who, who handed mine and wow. I don't really remember a lot about what he said, I just remember about being proud and doing the best that you can do and, and, and what you've been doing to get to that point. Mm. So um, that were a couple of words I got out of, but I was just in, you know, I had the biggest smile on my face. Um, <laughs> Still so, has. <laughs> yeah, no, it does, it brings back so many good memories and um, you know, I think once I got my first wicket, somewhere where we were, I think that's how I pronounce it. I always get get stumped with that one, but uh, Nick Doff caught behind uh, Gilchrist, so uh, and big Andrew Simons come in and shake my head, and uh, that was a, a pretty proud moment. But it's uh, they're, they're good memories that you know I'll never forget. Mm. And you fast forward many many years, and now you actually over here in the IPL um, playing for KKR, my old team. How's the experience been? And you know what's been happening. Yeah, I mean, I've played for a couple of different teams. I've played here in Mumbai. I love Mumbai. Uh, I've played for Kings Eleven Punjab, which I enjoyed as well. Uh, all very different teams and how they've run, been run. Uh, really enjoyed KKR this year. Mm. It's uh, been a really relaxed atmosphere. Uh, Jax Callis is, is very chilled out, uh, which is what I like. I think he gets as bored as I do in the meetings, uh, the team meetings. So uh, we both fall asleep. I'm guilty those. as well. Yeah. <laughs> guilty, you're on. But they are important. I mean. The, the, the planning that goes into it is, you know, it's exceptional and, and, and has to be these days. Mm-hmm. You have a look at how the game has, has progressed and, and how how hard it is to bowl to, to batsmen these days. And the wicket's been quite flat, boundaries being quite small and, and the, the ground's uh, being fast. Um, so, yeah, I've really enjoyed KKR. It's, it's been good. I've been able to help out some youngsters there with a, a young guy. Maybe bowls quite good fast. Pace. Yeah, 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 looks uh, good. A little bit shorter than me, but a uh, really good thinker of the game and, and really enjoys, enjoys his bowling. And it's been good to be able to stand middle and mid-off and, and help him mm. through that as well. I think that's part of um, you know, why I'm here at KKR is to bring that experience and, and help these young guys through. I've been really impressed with uh, Shubman Gill, Gill as well as a, as a batsman and watching him perform. You know, a couple of under-19 guys who have, have performed quite well for India mm. uh, and now have had an opportunity in IPL, which is... Yeah, this tournament is huge. Massive, isn't it? We've had a couple of guys over here uh, that are first timers uh, in 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 IPL, and have really enjoyed the experience and, and said that the competition is exceptional. It's it's, it's nothing like anywhere they've played before. Fast forward many many years, and you finished playing international cricket. Finished on three hundred thirteen test wickets. and picked me at the post, <laughs> so well done for that. Sorry, mate. It's all right. <laughs> Seventy three test wickets. Seventy three. So for a fast bowler, firstly, that's an incredible achievement. I want to go and I'm going to bring Jock in for a second here as well, but firstly, Mitch, what's happening post this? I know you've got a bowling app out, Bowl Fit. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, uh, I mean, there's, there's a lot going on. Um, one thing I'm really focused on at the moment is, is Bowl Fit. It's a you know, high performance app uh, looking at fast bowlers from the ra- around that age of 14 onwards. Um, it's getting programs out to them and getting them working hard early mm. uh, and getting to see what a professional athlete, a professional trainer, um, you know, what it's all about. So uh, there's, you know, strength and conditioning programs, there's uh, bowling programs to keep you, we like workloads, we talk about workloads, mm-hmm. but this is, you know, to um, really help you develop as a youngster. And, um, you know, there's, there's a lot more to it. Uh, there's there's about 300 videos, I think, that we, you know, we talk about fast bowling, we talk about how to grip the ball, how to bowl an out swinger, how to bowl an in swinger. Um, we, we go through so many different um, things in, in bowl fit and you know Jock has been a, a you know a major part of this and, and when he came and spoke to me about it mm. um, I was very very interested and I think it's from my point of view what really sold it to me is that I come from from Townsville you know a, a country town and 
never had that kind of training. So this is it, this gives you that professional training on a on an app on your phone. Yeah. So right. we know what apps and phones are all about. Everyone's on their phone. So where it is, isn't it? It definitely helps, and um, you know it's really exciting to to be able to give back to the game and give that experience. Like I am doing here in the IPL, mm. being able to give my experiences, I'm able to do that through this app and, and with Jock's help. And Jock, we've all worked together the last probably 20 years. You got me to bowl at uh, 161Ks per hour. So your your influence, your knowledge, you've got a wealth of knowledge. You've worked with a lot of fast bowls and a lot of bowls in general. What made you want to get on board with bowl fit? And I guess what have you brought to the team? Well, being, I've, I've worked in cricket for 30 years. Mm. Um, as you know, um, work with you through your early part of your career, and and I just fascinate by the fast bowlers because they're the most most athletic part of the game. Um, I got to work with you in depthly as a player, and then we did a DVD on on training yep. as well. And then now post working with this training team, I met Mitch when he was a really young guy. He had four stress fractures in his back and wasn't sure if he was even going to be able to play cricket. So to me, it was a big challenge, and I just love the athleticism and the the excitement of a fast bowler. When Sean Tate hit 160, the crowd was going berserk. Yeah. One, um, I love working with you guys, um, and but there's so so many injuries, so many things we can do to help fast bowlers from a young age. So, um, and Mitch, we just done a DVD on training, and um, and he wanted to do camps post cricket on, you know going in and helping with the bowling and getting me to come in and do the fitness side of things. So it was a really good fit. And this way I can get to people in India, I can get to people in, in, in country regions in Australia um, and just teach them how I got Brett, how I helped Brett bowl 160 k's an hour, how he got through a whole season without, mm. a whole year without getting injured, um, how he came back from, I thought it was five ankle operations, but you corrected me the other day. Six, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. But it was, it was also to playing that that whole year without taking any any inflammatories, which as a bowler trying to run in a bowl 150 k's, it's it's unheard of. So it's proper training. But is is it like having an online coach through the app, so someone like you to hold your hand? Because obviously you can't be at every single venue, you can't be at every single training session. Bowl fit takes the the coach to you. Is that the way it works? One hundred percent. You respond on there, um, <laughs> but yeah, exactly right. There's a video for every exercise. Mitch is doing the exercise. Mm. I'm too old, so I just do the coaching. Um, every training drill, um, how to warm up in far bowling, and and it basically adapts to you. So if you miss a session, the training program adapts. Oh right. Very smart program, Binger, as as you can imagine. Um, but if you bowl, if all of a sudden on the weekend you play two games and you bowl a lot of balls, your bowling program adjusts the next week. So, we're, so it would show like your red flags if you're going too hard or if you're on the edge or for the cusp. That's correct. Yeah. And, yeah. and so we've, you know, for the juniors we've been conservative, follow the research, but we're building you. So you had to bowl 30 overs maybe in an innings in a test match, and guess what, a day or two later you had to bowl another 20 or 30. Yeah. So, that's the difference. It's not just, well, we've got to limit your workloads. We've got to get you ready to be able to bowl fast for those 30 overs. Because if you're bowling, if you drop from 155 to 135, how effective are you? Mm. You're, you're not, not you're so, not. so we're really trying to build those loads. And, and, and Mitch, I remember Mitch, um, day before a test match, uh, Troy Cooley was saying to him, and I overheard it, um, you bowled enough, mate, you, you can't bowl anymore. Mm. And he goes, but mate, I'm not ready. I need to bowl more. And he ended up getting five, he bowled more and he ended up getting five wickets the next day. Because yeah. it's a skills based game as well. So it's not just the physical side. Well, boys, congratulations on what you've achieved. Uh, Mitch, I know that you've got so much more left in you. And I wish you well, mate. And obviously, Jocko, I've work, worked with you for 20 odd years, mate. So thanks for what you've done with me and what with, with, with my career. Um, jump on board, make sure that you download Bowl Fit. It's going to be awesome. Uh, I know there's so much in there that you can learn from, and uh, it's been awesome to catch up, not only with what we're doing today, but just with two great mates. And uh, yeah, looking forward to what the future holds for you both. Thanks, well, Good Thanks stuff. Man. Always a pleasure, mate. Never a chore. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you also subscribe and click notifications to get all this wonderful brand new content that I'll be putting up. And feel free to like it as well. Stay tuned. <laughs>